Okay, this is the afferent arteriole. The reason why is the afferent arteriole is thicker than the efferent. It's thicker. Okay. And you have this you have these cells here. These cells are primarily located in the afferent arteriole or the efferent arteriole. The uh, juxtaglomerular cells. Okay. Afferent. It's afferent, right? Afferent. So see? So these cells these cells. So this is the afferent arteriole goes in to the Bowman's capsule, it forms a glomerulus, these capillary network, and it comes out as efferent, efferent arteriole. It comes out as efferent. So we have, so this Bowman's capsule, glomerulus, and this whole thing is called the corpuscle. Corpuscle. corpuscle, renal corpuscle, right. So renal corpuscle is composed of Bowman's capsule and the glomerulus, and this is the uh, Urinary. The urinary pole, and it's the vascular pole of the renal corpus, right? And then we have two important cells here. We have, okay, let's look at over here. Over here. So we have, so this is the co this is the proximal convoluted. Okay, this is distal convoluted, right? So it's like coming here. This is the proximal convoluted here. And then you have the distal convoluted. This is the distal con proximal convoluted, distal convoluted. This is the proximal convoluted, this is the distal convoluted. Afferent arteriole, efferent arteriole, okay? And in between we have the distal convoluted, we have two important cells here, the juxtaglomerular cells and the maculodensa. So basically this, the maculodensa senses the, the content of the fluid if it's like if it's it's high if it's high sodium, then they send message to the JG cells, the juxtaglomerular cells, and juxtaglomerular cells produces renin. Right, it produces renin, and that renin basically you promote or initiate the, what we call as the renin angiotensin system. Okay, so that's that, and then when this is the um, this is the glomerulus, and they have these podocytes. See these? These are podocytes that cover the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the capillaries. And these are this filtration site. So as it passes through the capillary, the the, uh, the fluid or whatever the uh, the molecules and, and substrate is fil uh, filtered to this Bowman space, and then goes to the uh, proximal convoluted tube. So this is the Bowman space, and filtration occurs around here, uh, around the uh, the pedit the pedicels, the foot end plates of the, uh, the podocytes. It's like an uh, octopus-like cells. So, so that's the afferent arteriole, right? We say that, so this is the afferent arteriole. It goes inside the, uh, the Bowman's capsule, and then it comes out as efferent arteriole, okay? And efferent arteriole basically forms the, um, <coughs> and then, basically opens to the uh, what we call the periarterial uh, venous system and then you also have these vasorecta they come vasorecta and this periglomerular uh, art, art, uh, art, arterial capillaries sorry peritubular peritubular sorry peritubular peritubular capillaries and vasorecta these two then unite they they, they come together and they um, open to the interlobular interlobular vein. vein right okay so this Peritubular capillaries and vasorecta. Vasorecta basically is the one that goes to the uh, medulla. Okay, it goes to the pyramids. Primarily, these peritubular uh, capillaries are in the cortical areas, and these open to the interlobular veins, which is this. Interlobular veins opens to the arcuit veins. Arcuit veins. See, arcuit veins. Arcuit veins open to the interlobar. Interlobar. Interlobar open to the segmental. segmental, segmental come together and form the rear vein. vein. Okay, so that's how the uh, the drainage is is formed. And these are basically the proximal convoluted tubule, proximal straight, handless loop. Okay, handless loop, and then the straight part of the handless loop, of course. Distal convoluted, distal convoluted opens to the collecting tubule. This is the collecting tubule here. These tubules open to the duct. So this, this is the duct, and these are the tubules. This is the duct, is, as you can see. Part of the duct is located in the cortex, and the most of the duct is, is located in the, in the pyramid. So pyramids is primarily formed by the straight 
tubules, primarily with the from the um, collecting ducts and also the handlers loop. So these are the, the ones that are located in the in the pyramids. You don't find the convoluted tubules in the pyramids. The convoluted tubules plus the renal corpuscle is only located in the cortex. So the filtration basically takes takes place in the cortex, okay, in the cortical area, via these renal corpuscles. Okay. And the renal corpuscles um, are part of the uh, the filtration area and and part of the nephron. Okay, so there's one million nephron on each kidney. Okay, that's about it, I think.